Oh, mate, don't, don't, just let it go. He's Australia is known globally as a beautiful nation. From our coastline and beaches to bushlands and mountains, all the way through to that stunning interior and desert of our outback. Our nation though is also known as a place of disasters, natural disasters, like flood and fire and cyclones. And they're devastating for whole communities and individual lives. When this happens, there's the first responders, uh, people like the SES and the fire brigades, and the emergency services, and they come in and do a fantastic job right in that beginning stage. But as you can imagine, when your whole life has been devastated by a fire or a flood or a cyclone, it takes a long time to get things together again. Samaritan's Purse International, for many years now, has been helping in this area of disaster relief. Samaritan's Purse has flown aid to Haiti after the earthquake, the tsunami in Japan, and the Philippines cyclone. They've also provided support for floods and tornado-affected communities in the United States. Samaritan's Purse set up its Australian disaster relief team some years ago and has already provided disaster relief here in Australia, including the 2009 Victorian bushfires, the Bundaberg floods, and the 2013 Blue Mountains bushfires. To enable Samaritan's Purse to respond to disasters, and to do that at short notice here in Australia, Samaritan's Purse have invested in a disaster relief unit. This is a self-contained unit with an office to enable our team managers to coordinate our field work. A workshop for tool repairs, tool storage, a power generator and a large annex and other facilities. This disaster relief unit will be a critical asset that Samaritan's Purse can quickly deploy in times of disaster. When we respond to a disaster, we want to be a support to the local community and enhance recovery, not to be a burden on the community or a drain on already strained resources. Samaritan Purse has been involved in disaster relief in Australia for quite a number of years. For example, in the 2009 Black Saturday disaster in Victoria, we worked consistently for about 18 months in uh, Marysville and the King Lake area. I personally was deployed there for about 12 months. Uh, and then more recently, 2013, we uh, deployed for three months in Bundaberg at the, uh, the flood disaster there. And uh, generally speaking, Samaritan Purse is not the first responder. Uh, the SES, the fire departments, uh, other authorities respond first, and then Samaritan Purse will come in with our disaster relief equipment and volunteers uh, following that, and we stay longer to help people. Samaritan's Purse has been providing aid internationally for many years. Just recently I was involved in a project in, the, in Tonga uh, following Cyclone Ian uh, in the islands of Harpe. About 70% of the uh, families had lost their homes. We were able to provide our special tarping materials which uh, gave them both shelter and protection for what goods were not destroyed in the original cyclone. We determine our response on a case-by-case -case basis on the capacity of the community and our host. By their nature, the emergency services can't stay for long periods of time. They'll deploy with lots of resources for short amounts of time. Uh, and that's where we can come in and complement what they do, freeing them up to continue on with the higher risk, whole of community recovery items, where we can spend time and help the individual with long-term recovery. In the days following the disaster, we connect early with local authorities. Uh, to make sure that when we deploy, we engage with them and interact with the local arrangements in place in order to enhance recovery, uh, to support and further equip the local resources. When we respond to disasters, we're not coming in to be a burden to the local community, but rather a, a, a blessing and a support to, to help and equip them and not to hinder recovery. The sort of relief we provide it depends on the actual disaster. For example, if it's bushfires, we're, uh, we're, we're involved with cleaning up uh, ashes with people looking for precious things, uh, if it's, uh, and often uh, refencing in rural areas, uh, providing hay. Uh, if it's a flood, obviously it's different. We're, we're in there uh, cleaning out homes, furniture, 
taking out the plaster wall that's gone rotten, uh, uh, demoulding the place and assisting in that way. If it's a, if it's a cyclone, uh, or a, a, we would be involved in maybe more tree work and uh, that sort of thing where people have, uh, uh, or, or re-roofing uh, with our temporary tarps, uh, people's homes so they can get back in or stay in their home. The disaster relief unit's going to make it possible to respond quickly. It'll be fully equipped. It has uh, pressure washers, generators, power equipment tools, uh, ladders, uh, wheelbarrows, that type of equipment. And we can work 60 to 80 volunteers out of this vehicle. So once we're on site, we can be uh, self-contained and provide uh, much of what's needed to get people up and going. We have wonderful emergency services in this country. They get to a disaster quickly and they do their job in an amazing way, but eventually they have to leave. But we know from experience that communities often hurt for weeks and months, even years after the disaster. And that's where we come in. We come alongside the most vulnerable in communities, alongside pensioners, single parents, people with low financial resources to help them in their need. The money that uh, the people donate uh, towards uh, the Samaritan's purse, I, I would say is well uh, ordered, is well used, and uh, is uh, uh, do a lot of good for people like us who was in trouble and, uh, and uh, in a disaster time which we didn't expect it. They are a big group that come to us help us in so much work to do in cleaning up and everything that we need for help. And I am very pleased and I appreciate for the help, for the work they have done to us. In order to do this, we need your help. We deploy for weeks, months, sometimes more than a year. For this, we need many volunteers. We need financial resources. We need local partners. We need your help. Please come alongside us as we reach out to people hurting after disasters.